Yeah. Are you Portuguese? Yeah, I'm the Portuguese, third generation. I'm a De Costa. From my mom's cooking, we have the grilled fish, very popular. Thank to the Portuguese ancestor that came and conquered this country. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We're still at Malacca, the world's heritage city. If you haven't known about this so Malacca has actually been conquered by Portuguese before the Dutch. After that, English conquered them again. So that is why there's still like a lot of like European influence around here. And that is actually why we are here. We are at the Portuguese settlement just close by the sea. Literally the sea is right here. There's so many Portuguese restaurants that we can choose from. A lot of seafood and stuff. We are going to come find this place. They said it's inside this Portuguese settlement. Really good, reasonable price and also it's Portuguese. We've never tried Portuguese food before. King, that's a guarantee to you. I'm a third generation Portuguese. Where are you from sir anyway? United States. United States. Oh, are you Portuguese? Yeah, I'm the Portuguese third generation. I'm a De Costa. Oh. Yeah, if you want to try my mom's cooking, we have the grilled fish very popular. We have the Portuguese baked fish also very popular. We have spicy and non-spicy food. That's a guarantee you. Ah, oh, look at the bird there. So, there's actually that side, number one to number five, is all Portuguese. And then, once we walk across this, it's gonna be Chinese and then number 10 is gonna be Portuguese again. We've actually been um, warned, like told, that once we got to the place, there's gonna be like people come and grab you and then try to get you to eat at their restaurant. And that actually happened, but they're pretty nice, you know, this is one customer. So we actually like choosing right now, we don't know which one we wanna go for. This is hard. This is hard. So, 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 None of them, you guys. So we actually found out that the place we're coming is actually outside of that place, which is the restaurant called Restaurant de Lisbon, right there. So we're gonna go see. This is really home cooked, you guys. Portuguese home cooked. So this is the inside the house, and once we walk outside. This also have like another really kind of big kitchen over here and sell food outside there. So it's the same restaurant, restaurant, the Lisbon. It's all family business. That's actually what we ordered right there. fish topped with this sauce like supposed to be spicy we got this eggplant which they call it binjo and clam which they call it la la so la la ginger i'm gonna dive in first time portuguese food yeah. have to thank to the portuguese ancestor that came and conquered, conquered this country <laughs> so we can actually have like uh, Portuguese food in Malaysia right here oosh, oosh. I just got hit wow mm. it's a little bit sour also no not really it's just my mouth this thing pretty much like deep fried and then pepper on it 
I love eggplant. This is so good. Totally like marinated with some thing. Oh. I'm glad she recommended this one. The chef actually recommended this one herself. And also, it's funny that they also eat it with rice. I just like... Isn't this like Asian style? Asian style. Yeah, Portuguese Asian. They're Eurasian. Mmm. Mm. They call themselves Eurasians around here. Mmm, okay. Deep fried fish. I am going to try this fish. Oh, that's gonna be like big piece of fish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The sourness that I tasted earlier is from the fish. Sweet and sour, and a little bit of spice. Mm. And you know why? I literally just swallow the tamarind seeds. This is tamarind seeds here yeah. and one here. I chewed, In my throat? I chewed one too. And yeah. I never had tamarind, so I didn't know what yeah. it was. <laughs> that's, that's why it's sour. I would highly recommend this place. The clams, delicious. No fishy flavor. The eggplant, Serious, delicious. Serious, how, how come like, uh, the clams don't have the fishy flavor? It's fresh. It's from the bay. It's fresh right off the shore. How do you know? Because the chef said so. Uh, and it tastes like it. I know fresh seafood. Okay. And then the fish, amazing. It tastes good. I've never really had the style, but I like it and I would eat it again. In Thailand, we actually have something like a deep fried fish, but don't really have like this style where they make the, the sauce with also the tamarind and this shallots and chili. So the chef split the fish in half? Laid it so all the bones are face down, so it's really hard to actually get bones in your food. It's a good chef. And the food's great, so. Rice, Eurasian style. Yeah. <laughs> the eggplant, for sure. I pretty much like the eggplant a lot too, for some reason. It's just. Really good. Yeah. We're done for the restaurant de Lisbon. It was pretty good. To be honest though, I. I I don't think I can like um, see the big difference between Asian food and because it's also like deep fried, stir fried, and then put the sauce on it. The taste is like tasteful and oh maybe like a little bit of difference of the ingredients. Probably something like tamarind sauce that I put on the fish. All the small little detail. The food is pretty good, and then we knew the difference now between like uh, the place that we went two before where people try to grab you and everything that they have like a restaurant 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 like that and then they have like many cooks in there but here inside here they have pretty much like three to four restaurants and then all of them are home cooked so it's the house that they live in and then they also cook food and sell it and the price is not so expensive also for like the whole meal that we had there for two people it's 91 Malaysian ringgit. I like it a lot, especially the price. Especially the price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever in Malaysia, in Malacca, and if you want to try like uh, some Portuguese food, which I think it's kind of like good experience if you want to change a little bit of the, the taste, go check out this one. Totally recommend. Don't forget to subscribe to where we are on Pad Thai channel, and I will see you guys on the next video.